the first thing we're going to do with our nano mouse is turn on an LED. That seems to be the first project that most people undertake when they get an Arduino. Uh, we're going to take advantage of the onboard LED uh, that's typically connected on most Arduino boards to pin 13 so that we don't have to set any hardware up. The way this is usually done is uh, a variable is declared using the integer data type and we'll call this LED pin and you just set it equal to 13 because it's connected to pin 13. While this is an acceptable way of doing of turning on an LED, while it works, it's not the best way. And to see why, let's look at the reference materials. If we look at the integer data type, you'll notice that it takes up two bytes of memory and it can range from negative 32,768 to 32,767. The Arduino does not have that many pins, so there's no need to pick a data type that large. Instead, we're going to pick a slightly smaller data type, uh, a byte, which only takes up a single byte and ranges from 0 to 255. This range in values will be sufficient for our needs, so we're going to change it from an int to a byte. Some of you may be thinking this is a bit trivial, but you have to remember that we're creating a, mouse, a, a robot that's going to have to store a ton of information, so space, memory space is uh, at a premium, uh, at least towards the end, of, it will be towards the end of these tutorials. The next thing that you rarely see uh, in a first program is the const word here before byte, and what this does is instead of allowing the user to change the LED pin from 13 to some other number during the program, it forces LED pin to always be 13. That cannot change anymore when the Arduino is running the program. Most of the time this isn't a concern, but not putting the const here is just bad programming practice when you have something that's definitely not going to change. The next step is to declare the pin mode for the pin. So the pin mode for LED pin for pin 13 is going to be output. Once that's done, it's time to set it high so that it turns on. Let's see, digital, oops. And then I just load the program to the Arduino by clicking on that arrow button. This is great. My pin or my LED comes on, but the problem is I can't turn it off. I can't control it. And so what I'm going to do is add uh, some more functionality using a button. So again, I'm going to cons uh, use the const byte method of declaring a constant. I'm going to say button pin is my new constant. I'm going to set it equal to 9 because it's connected to pin 9. And then I'm going to set the pin mode for this one to input. Now if I were to just use input I would run into some problems because I don't have a voltage divider or the necessary hardware to make it work. So I'm going to say input pull up and what this does is take advantage of a internal pull up resistor so that I can read the value consistently without having to have a resistor somewhere in that circuit. 
for more information on this, please look at my webpage and, I'll sh and you will find the links to uh, other videos that explain uh, exactly how the input pull-up function works in more detail. Once I've done that, the next step is to force the program to wait. So, while the button pin is true, I want to do nothing. And that's because when I use the input pull up resistor, it sort of inverts the logic. And the button is actually, uh, pin 9 is pulled high all the time unless the button is pressed, in which case it's pulled low. Or in this case, it's registered as false. High is true, low is false. So while this statement is high or true, we do nothing and we're trapped in this loop of doing nothing but as soon as the button pin as the button is pressed this registers as a low or a false for this statement and allows us to jump out of the loop and go to the next step which is the vo the, the loop that runs continuously and it turns the LED on so let's go ahead and load this to the Arduino and see what happens To turn the LED on, I just press the button. To turn it off, I can use the reset button on the Arduino. So I can turn it on, I can turn it off.